For the first time in Tennessee's history, a sitting state senator has been expelled. Former Senator Katrina Robinson was the focus of this morning's floor vote where she was voted out 27 to 5. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan is covering the story for us. And as he shows us, Robinson believes her removal has little to do with her legal troubles. Senator Katrina Robinson was in tears earlier today after that Senate floor vote. She says that she believes that this was decided before she ever was brought before the Ethics Committee. Let every member cast their vote when the bell rings. It takes effect immediately. Eyes 27, nays 5. Former Senator Katrina Robinson is out at the state capitol. Her removal stems from a federal indictment on accusations she misused federal dollars awarded to the health care school she directed. The recommendation comes from a Senate Ethics Committee discussed on the Senate floor. We only found out once the federal system acted. What are we to do upon finding those things out in a jury of Tennesseans, a diverse jury of Tennesseans, listen to the evidence presented? State Republicans argued two convictions of wire fraud were enough evidence for Robinson's removal. Her attorneys were present. They hoped the Senate would delay this vote until a sentencing hearing happening in March. Originally, she was accused of stealing $600,000 through the indictment, but the amount under her convictions is much lower. Now, what are we stuck with? $3,484.06 that, as alleged in the indictment, was taken not from the government, but from her single member LLC, THI. We are now considering all options in what is getting to be the very late hours of this case. She was not granted the extension. After the vote, Robinson said this was about more than politics. The goal of the majority party today is to further disenfranchise the voices of my constituents who you see behind me, people who look like me. They passed legislation to dilute their voting power. They passed legislation that makes it illegal to teach our history. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.